Dan. Hey, buddy. We're going to talk about Paddy Dow. Um, I think it's a culmination of Carlton supporters being starved of success. Yeah. The kids come in, we draft them, we forget that they're second year players, third year players, we want success right away. We can be a little bit harsh. Paddy Dow seems to be one that has had good patches and not so good patches. Obviously, his kicking is, is very much highlighted. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at just how much Paddy Dow's development has, uh, has really happened. Where is he better? Where is he not so better? Comparing himself, 2019, 13 games, as opposed to his entire year last year, yeah. 2018. So 20 games in 2018, 13 games so far in 2019. Um, take it away, mate. What have we got here? 100%. So, I mean, like, Dow's somewhat that derides Carlton fans. Uh, is he good? Is he not good? Is he yeah. getting better? But we've got to remember, players usually have a rubbish year, yeah. year two or three. Yeah. And it's usually the fourth year we see the fruits of that endeavour. That works with Dustin, Joel, every footballer we think of. So, I mean, one thing he has started to do is get more of the ball. Yep. So, I think that highlights his kicking. Yep because we're starting to see him more with the ball. He's becoming more of a centre point of Carlton's attack. Yeah. Where last year, he was cream. Yep. Now he's really part of that cake. We is need he, him to perform. Is he maybe... Because well, he's one of those players that gets into threatening positions. Yeah, definitely. And because the, the finished product just hasn't been there, it maybe it sticks in our mind a little bit more, like a certain shot on goal, running into open goal, or an open space field kick that he just didn't hit. I think that might be his... He's, 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 um, it's his curse, but it's also his, uh, his, his benefit. I always find he has one of these things that, like the Brisbane game, I saw a lot of people panned him for his kicking. Yeah. But he went at 79%. Yeah, yeah. You know what? <laughs> first quarter, this is the thing, it sticks in my mind. I remember watching that game. First quarter, running, he steamed through the midfield. He had Harry Mackay leading yeah. up, and it, the kick was a little low, and it was a shit kick. And we're all pissed off, but then we just seem to forget the rest of the game. He hit his targets. There was that nice kick uh, to, it was actually to Charlie, which Cripps intercepted yep. in the forward 50, but we just, we forget about it. I, I think he makes high profile mistakes. Yeah. And I think that's the problem. We remember it. I like that. Like, Setfield was one that everyone said was brilliant that game. Yep. And he went at 43% efficiency. Yep. So, I mean, that's a huge one. We're saying one player's brilliant. Yeah. One player's rubbish, but one player's doubled the efficiency. Yeah. And as we can see, his efficiency, 63% this year and 67% last year. So maybe slightly come down, but that's telling me more, more of the ball, more yeah. chance to make mistakes. It's around, he's stagnated. Yep. The interesting one here is obviously the metres gained, uh, 50 more per game. So that's telling me, again, it's reflective of he's getting a little bit more of the ball. He's driving the ball a little yeah, bit more forward. He's starting to grow as a man. So yeah, yeah. he's taking the game on. Second and third efforts, 10 more on average as well, pressure acts. It's pressure acts, so yeah. He's really becoming a centre part of the Carlton Football Club. Yeah. Well, last year, like I say, new player, yeah. no expectation. Yeah. So, I mean, I think we're kind of... We're just impatient. I think we're blessed because we've got Walsh. And yeah. Walsh is becoming yeah. a rock. Yep. Yeah. And when we look at Dow and go, well, it's two years, he should yeah. be yeah. up. I understand. And the thing is also, you know, Paddy Dow, three of the first four games of the season, he had 20 touches or more. Last three of three of his four last games to this very moment right now, he's had 11, 13, I think it was, I think it was 15. Yeah. So he, he's had a bit of a down patch, but I talk about it a lot. No development is linear. It doesn't just go up and up and up and up. And so he's going to have these, these drops. Great opportunity this week against Frio. A Definitely little bit yeah. more of a role here. Could explode. I think you talked a little bit about it off air. He could have a really big game. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. So what about you? I know Paddy Dow is a contentious one. We've had a look at the stats. We've had a look at his impact. Um, do you think we need to be a little bit more patient with him? Do you think we're being a bit harsh on him? Or do you think it's justified? Let us know in the comments below and let's chat about it.